Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Bash, and uh, as I'm sure you guys have figured out by the title of this video, I am playing a little bit of Crisis 2, and uh, I'm using that SCAR, so a lot of you guys who played Modern Warfare 2 um, are probably very familiar with the SCAR, uh, I'm using the SCAR, but the futuristic version, the 2024 version, although some part of me doubts that in 2024 we'll be running around in cryogen suits or whatever these are, and um, you know what I'm saying, kicking the shit out of cars like you're gonna see me do right here. That right there, th that right, you should buy this game just because you can kick a car. Like, that's about as raw as it gets right there. I'll, me and T-Mart were just kicking cars all day. You guys are going to see random cars just flying across the map because <laughs> me and Trevor are just kicking them around. But, um, you know, I I'd like to say, first off, I'd like to say I hate... Actually, first off, let me say something real, real quick. Let me just plug plug a little social media I got a Facebook fan page I think right here look at that car just fly in T Martin just kicking cars and shit was that T Martin I don't know if that was T Martin or not but somebody like we were all my whole party was just kicking cars like there's no tomorrow but <laughs> I don't know if T Martin's even in this game but um yeah quick you know social media plug I got a Facebook fan page. I haven't gotten the chance to announce it in any videos because I actually haven't gotten the chance to sit down and do commentary like this with you guys for a little while now. So um, since I've been doing my race to commander, but I'm taking a little break from that for this game right here, Crisis Special Occasion. But um, yeah, I have a Facebook fan page. It's facebook.com slash bash lol. If you guys can go over there and like it, that would really, uh, you know, boost my ego. Um, <laughs> that's what I, that's what, that's what, isn't that what it's all about? But no, I'm serious. Um. You know, I get the chance to communicate and touch base and, you know what I'm saying, interact with people through Twitter all the time. And I realize that there are a lot of people who use Facebook and don't use Twitter or just use Twitter and don't use Facebook. I'm the Twitter type of guy, so I'm a Twitter type of person, although I do have a Facebook. I don't use it too much. But um, I do realize that there are a lot of people who probably, you know, watch my videos and would love to hear about what's going on, hear little updates and stuff like that, get the latest video. Um you know get the latest video when it comes out stuff like that and um who use facebook and don't use twitter so i mean it's only right that i'm on there as well as twitter so um if you guys want to head over there and like me over there that'd be very helpful it's facebook.com slash bash lol and for those of you who are wondering where my twitter is it's also just twitter.com slash bash lol i try to keep it try to keep it simple for you guys um as i pick up that dude's dog tag so that's kind of how the kill streak system works when you kill someone they drop a little dog tag a little shiny um light There'll be a dog tag. The cool thing about that is, let me just touch on that real quick. Even though I don't want to, I'll, I'll, I'll get into this in a second. But the cool thing is about that is that if you kill like three people and then die right away, their dog tags kind of hang out for a little while. So you can always just come back and pick those dog tags up and then automatically get your three kill streak. Kind of cool. I mean, you can possibly use that to your advantage if you want to play smart if you know you're going to attack like four dudes you might get two of those kills but you're not going to jump you know what i'm saying like th there are probably cool ways to figure that out but um like i'm saying guys i don't want to i don't want to get too in depth in terms of like touching on um touching on facts of the, about the game or features and stuff like that um obviously you can tell how visually beautiful it is but i plan on doing a really in-depth review uh, of the game on friday by friday hopefully you'll have it by friday and um, generally, I mean, like I was, I was gonna say this at the start, I don't, I don't like calling this a first thoughts video, but that's really what it is. These are my first thoughts um, about this game right here, what I'm feeling about it, how I'm feeling about it. Um, generally, I don't think the reason I don't usually post videos about games when they first come out, um, other than Call of Duty, because I just I love Call of Duty, but um, it, it's usually because I don't feel as though I can give it a real, a, I really have a, a fair formulated opinion about the game. Um, I just don't feel like I have the opportunity to really give you guys a, a, an unbiased review. When you usually first buy something, especially a new game, something you've been looking forward to for a couple of weeks, you kind of zone out all the negative stuff. Even if it's even if it's legitimately, even if there's like a legitimate problem, you kind of zone it out sometimes and, and ignore it. And you know what I mean? Just not pay attention to it because you're so hyped up and you're so excited and you just want to you know you're having so much fun with all the good stuff about a game you you tend to not really touch on the negative stuff and that's not something that i want to do so i don't really want to give you guys a review right now but i do kind of want to just let you guys know how i'm feeling after playing this game for just an hour and understand that that is you know subject to change because um 
I mean, obviously, as, as, as people play this game more, people start exploiting it more, people start figuring out shit more, and, you know, problems start to get uncovered. So we'll see if that happens. We'll see if that happens. But right off the bat, you guys can see this is a beautiful game. I mean, look at it visually. It's amazing. I mean, the maps are cool. EA just seems to do a good job with their first-person shooter maps. Um, Battlefield Bad Company 2 just had amazing maps. Battlefield 3 looks like it's going to have some amazing maps as well. I mean, from what I've seen so far... And uh, this game right here graphically does not, you know, does not disappoint. Um, <laughs> it definitely does a really good job, and I think it looks beautiful. Now, when I went into this game, I tried not to compare it to Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty, despite what you think about it, in terms of balance and perk systems and stuff like that, it might have some problems in that regard. But, I mean, despite what you really think, you, you can't deny the fact that it's a really polished game. It's well put together. The, the, I think it has solid graphics. I think the controls are easy to get the hang of. E it's easy to control something. When you, you know, when you want to do something in that game, you do it. Um, there's no lag. There's no control lag. There's no, you know what I mean? I think it's a really good game. I think it's really well put together in terms of its mechanics. So it's easy for me to have that in the back of my mind. But even with that said, I still think this game is really fun. The mechanics are easy to control so far. Not really having too many problems with that um and then yeah i mean overall i am enjoying it um I, I, when i first started playing this game and i'll be honest with you i wasn't thinking about even picking up this game i didn't think i was going to have a positive experience with this game um you know what i'm saying i picked up homefront i know a lot of people are loving homefront but i, I personally just wasn't digging homefront i just wasn't and i didn't want to you know run into another game just just based solely off of hype but um you know what i, I did it and this time it actually paid off because i'm having a lot of fun with this game, so um, I mean, Dunkus and T Mark can tell you because I was playing with them earlier. I was raging when I first started playing the game. I was like so upset, but it really—I mean—I picked up the hang of things quickly. It, it was really easy to pick the pick up the hang of things and uh, pick up the controls. And I mean, I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun, but uh, definitely, definitely, stay tuned for my Friday review because you guys will get a closer look, hopefully, at some of the maps and, and different features, more in-depth look at that type of stuff. And uh, I'm going to try and do more type of review type things more often. But I'll let you guys check that out on Friday and give me your thoughts on it. Also, my Razor Anza review, I was going to do it today, but obviously I got a little distracted with this. But uh, I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully, it'll be up tomorrow. So, um, yeah, hope you, hopefully you liked it. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this game so far. And, uh, yeah, remember to go uh, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter if you'd like. And I'll see you all later. Peace out.